Hey everyone, Coach Megan here, and you're listening to the Powerhouse Podcast, episode 154. How to bring a nationals mindset into your next local competition. Welcome to the Powerhouse Podcast, hosted by sisters, former Miss Nebraska's and a Miss Nebraska USA, and expert coaches Ali Swanson Mancuso and Megan Swanson Rhodes. Every Tuesday, we bring you a life changing, challenging, and activating episode to help high achieving women win their pageants, massively transform their mindsets, and dominate all aspects of life, including elements both inside and what most consider traditionally as areas outside of pageantry. Allie and Megan coach high achieving women in all 50 states and beyond and live to see women conquer their dreams. If you're not already part of our powerhouse club, join the fastest growing group of winning pageant queens on the planet linked in the show notes every single week. Now let's get on to this week's episode. Hey everyone, Coach Megan Rhodes here, and we are back with an amazing episode of the Powerhouse Podcast, and welcome to all of our Pageant Winner Secrets members who are watching this on the live uh, video version feed of this podcast episode. Today, we're going to be talking about a very, very important mindset for this time that this is dropping, which is in the middle of July, 2022, and we're going to be talking about how to bring a nationals mindset into your local pageant. This is super, super important because if you really think about it, and hopefully you just had this thought even after I just said the title, you probably thought to yourself or went, huh, maybe even audibly, um, thinking about, oh my gosh, I never thought that I would need to bring in two different mindsets. Or maybe you have conceptually, but you haven't really thought about, oh my gosh, like maybe, maybe I do show up differently for locals and I do a state pageant and I do a nationals pageant. And if you guys listen to um, the episode coming out next week, when we talk about, do you need to change or do you, uh, do you need to change you or change your pageant system that you're a part of? I say it way more eloquently next week. I'm trying to look, uh, oh, do you need to change or just change systems? Yeah, that's uh, coming up next week. So I dive deeper into some of the points that you're going to hear from me from a high level today, but it's really, really, really important to set an intention for every pageant that you compete in. Oh, finally, the lawnmower stopped, praise God. Uh, For every pageant that you compete in, as well as what type of pageant it is, what season you're in. And I always say specifically, like right now, in the kind of interim between last season and 2022 and 2023, it's really important to accurately reflect um, what happened, what worked, what didn't in the last season. And this is going to be one of the things that we talk about. Um, I'll kind of dive in as number one is don't compete like it's last season. You have to accurately assess what you might need to improve. I think a lot of times with locals specifically, we just kind of roll everything over. Well, I'll just wear the same dress. I'll do my hair the same way. It kind of worked. I got top 10 or, you know, whatever. I don't really have time to do new things. I don't have the money to do new things. So I'm just going to kind of roll everything over and hope for the best. And while I understand from a financial standpoint, there's nothing wrong at all from reusing clothing, especially if it worked, you know, if you got top two or, you know, whatever, obviously, like we get it, right? It's the principle of a thing of if, you know, have you actually gone back and assessed whether that thing was working for you? Did people compliment your outfit frequently or did no one really notice your interview outfit and no one really said anything? Or did only one person say something and they were your roommate because it was after you said, hey, I really, really like your outfit. And they're like, yeah, I like your outfit too, right? Um, if you didn't have a mind blowing response to your evening gown, if you didn't have a mind blowing response to your swimsuit walk or, you know, feeling that um, magnetism towards you in these different areas of competition, then why are we not going back and watching our tape and watching the video and going through and saying, okay, what worked and what didn't? And that's the first thing, like I said, that I think is the biggest problem that people make between locals and nationals is they don't go back and assess, did this work or did this actually not? And so I want you to take a second after this podcast today and really think through all the areas of competition, think through everything that you wore, everything that you said, everything that you did, 
and also the mindset behind things. You know, what was my pre-interview routine like? Do I need to up that? Did I feel like I had enough community kind of surrounding me? Did I have that one safe person to text that I knew was going to encourage me and tell me the right things before I went into every phase of competition? And how was my headspace during the week? What might I need to reassess and do differently for next time? So that's number one. The second thing is really, really important. Um, that is really important to do to go into locals with a national mindset is like I kind of like I just said, don't go in thinking, oh, I just got this because oh, I got top three, I got top five, I got top whatever. I cannot tell you how many times this has happened in a good way where a client has started working with us in this season, like right now, and they didn't place top 10 before they worked with us. And maybe they even worked with the coach, whatever. Or they could have been, you know, 19 and now they're 20. And there's a big difference between just like that year of life. And let's say that they have a local in October and they come for an intensive and we spend a whole day together and we really work through kind of last year in state and we break it down really like technicians. I mean, you guys have seen the videos I posted on Powerhouse um, Instagram. Like we go through absolutely every single phase of competition to a T, like with a micro, uh, I was going to say a microphone, a magnifying glass. And we figure out what worked and what didn't. And so I think, uh, so finishing out that story, we have had so many, so many times, somebody who didn't make top 10 go and win. Um, I can think of one time it happened in South Dakota specifically, um, where somebody went and won and beat out a girl who had just gotten second runner up, except this girl competed from June to July. Like it literally was the first local and it happened back, you know, back to back. And she went out and beat the person who had just been second runner up and she didn't even place. So things like that happen all the time. And so you don't want to go, number two, you don't want to go into your local just thinking, I've got this. You want to go in with a nationals mindset, which is everybody's talented. Everybody already won a state title. This is a new playing field. This is a new level. How do I need to level up and asking yourself those proper questions? That brings us to number three, um, prep like you're going to lose, compete like you're going to win. I've never said that before, in like six weeks, six years of coaching, but I really like it. I think I'm going to make a graphic about it. Prep like you're going to lose, compete like you're going to win. Okay. That should create a visual in your head, even as I'm saying this. Okay. Well, what would it look like to prep? Like I start the competition three points behind everybody else. How do I think I would prepare? How many minutes do I think I'd walk on the treadmill? How many interview questions do I think I would practice? Would I have that extra scoop of this at night? Or maybe would I only have it two days a week if you're like me? even though it's like more like five days a week. Would I drink that full gallon of water, even though I don't like to drink water, like one of my best friends, hilarious. She can't stand water. And we'd always give her crap for it. We're like, okay, put some flavoring in it. Like, what do we got to do? Because she competes in pageants too. We'd be like, girl, we got to get this done. Like, we got to get this water in because we're going to get you healthy, right? Can I sleep more? Can I make a slight change? Can I buy a weighted blanket to maybe help me sleep more, right? There are always micro things that you can do prepping like you're you're already three points behind everybody else because then if you show up you're gonna look like a freaking olympian you know when you get to your pageant and what's so cool is getting the comment what happened to her what happened to you like you're amazing is one of the best compliments you could ever get right so like work like you you're gonna get that compliment and then compete like you're gonna win so when you show up um this is one of the biggest things that we're going to be working on in 2023 with our clients is um honestly, you guys, the difference between someone who gets top five and who wins is somebody who knows how to turn it on. And Allie and I really have this like inherently in us. I don't know if it was being on stage when we were really little. I don't know if it's being a three and an eight and we're just like literally so competitive and all the board games we played growing up where it was like survival of the fittest. And if you did not win, you're going to be ridiculed, like poked fun at in a funny way, not like a mean way. But we just have this strong internalized competitive drive. And, you know, I have finally been able to put words to that after like six years of like noticing it and being like, gosh, why, why does this girl get first runner up? Why does this girl get third runner up? And that strong internalized competitive drive mixed with a really powerful why, which I think we talked about a couple podcasts ago. It has to like connect in the moment where you're like nothing's going to steal this from me. Like I'm going to work pre- harder than anybody else. And that gives me the confidence to just dominate on this stage. Um, that's a whole podcast in itself, but prep like you're gonna lose, compete like you're gonna win. Next, nationals mindset. 
one thing that's really important that actually is very similar from nationals to locals just in a different way is I think it's important to go throughout the weekend or the day like everybody's watching. At locals, I think sometimes people um, let their guard down isn't the right word because I do want you to let your guard down, but I think people are like, oh, I got this. It's easy. It's just a local. I've done this local five times. I know everybody. And so they don't always act with a level of professionalism as if Allison DeMarcus was in the room, right? National Director of Volunteer America. Like, you got your crap together when she's in the room because why you respect her and she's also earned respect because she's amazing right so i think that having a level of professionalism and understanding that pretend like allison demarcus is in the room not to where you just like wear a mask all the time but just like don't make a fool of yourself just because it's a local right number f uh n the next one i think we're at number five um, don't compete. Oh, we already went over this. Don't compete like it's last season. Accurately assess where you might need to improve. So last one, um, I think this is number five. The area you hate putting effort into or that feels the most uncomfortable is probably the area that you need to most, most work on and need the most work in. We talk about this on next week's podcast. So definitely, definitely give it a listen. Do you need to change or just change systems? We talk a ton about okay, how do I actually break down whether this is a me problem or when it might be time to make a change for a good reason, a bad reason, a neutral reason, whatever, you just want to try new things or whether you're like, you know what? Yeah, like based on who you are, maybe there's a little bit of prejudice there. Maybe they, you know, they're not ready for a awesome curvy girl like you are, right? Or what are the things about myself? I, I, I might be blaming on other people that I actually do need to change. And then what are the things that are just out of my control? Um, and I, it actually isn't my fault and I should, I, I can probably have better success just by making a slight change and talking to somebody else and having a different director. So next week is an incredibly, incredibly, really, really valuable podcast. I think it's like 30 minutes long. So you guys will definitely want to watch that. Um, if you guys haven't booked a strategy call, we are filling up like bonkers right now. I think I took like eight this week. So make sure you click the link below in the show notes. Um, say hi, if you're watching in pageant winter secrets. Or you guys can go to the link below to join Pageant Winter Secrets, our free Facebook group where we drop interview questions and the video versions of the podcast and a bunch of other fun stuff. Okay, that's all I have for you guys this week. Uh, we will see you next week. Hey guys, Coach Megan here. And thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Powerhouse Podcast. We're so honored to have you wherever you are, near or far away from the great metropolis of Omaha, Nebraska, where we are from. We are so proud to be your virtual coaches. If you could just share this with a friend that you feel like needs to hear this today, give us a five-star review if you haven't already. And click that link below in our show notes. We promise we are the nicest people and we'd love to meet you. And we'd love to figure out if you're a good fit for our program or make a suggestion for a different coach, different consultant, different person that's a professional in their field that can help you. We're not territorial about needing to coach every person in the world. We just want you to find your right fit so that you can make your dreams come true and unlock the winner within you. Anyways, just wanted to encourage you guys in that today. Again, leave us a review, DM us um, on Instagram at any of our handles. And with that, we'll see you guys next week.